All right, all right. Well, today I'm going to try to clear out some room here. I've got a bunch of riding mowers. Uh, a bunch of them need a lot of work, but I'm going to try to start uh, getting those out now. Uh, some need a lot more, a lot more work than others. Some I'll, I might just keep for parts, uh, scrap some. Um, but in this particular case, I'm just going to swap engines and get rid of one of them. Uh, and it's actually pretty easy. So uh, let me show you what I got. So here are the two mowers. There's one, and there's the other. So this Troy built pony, um, it's a little more complete. Uh, the tires are okay, the, the, the mowing deck's okay, it just has a bad engine. Uh, no compression. Uh, I was going to tear it apart. I tried to uh, uh, get it started and even put a new carburetor on it, but no compression. So uh, instead of rebuilding it, I started looking at this one. And this one has. Yeah, so this is the Intec uh, 19 and a half horsepower, and I believe this one was a 17 and a half Intec. Yeah. So it should just pop right in, you know. Uh, and I'll make sure I'll take a look at the the cabling and and all that good stuff. But I think everything is. Uh, it should be very easy just to take this one off take them both off I'll take the carburetor off of that one um, and then I'll sell this one off because this one I mean this one was in its day is actually a, a pretty good mower but uh, but there's too much gone I mean the seats gone uh, all these tires I just aired them up but they all leak it's stuff that I just don't want to throw money at so this one I'll just yank the engine I guess I could just use it for parts or I will uh, put it in the scrap pile and get this guy. I have a pile of metal over there growing. I need to get this guy that uh, picks up all the scrap metal. But that's too bad because like I said, this one, it was actually a, a pretty nice mower in its day. This one actually has, uh, is this it? Yeah, so the six speed, this is a Dana uh, rear end on it. And uh, that would be kind of fun to make a mutter out of this one. But that's, you know, that's not out of the question. Uh, once, once this engine is gone, I can drop anything in there. I've got a few engines back in there. Not the Intec like this, but, but we'll see. Who knows? Maybe it's a project one. There's another project one, the, the John Deere there. That uh, I've had that forever has a Vanguard engine in it but anyway you can see what I'm trying to do I have so much so much mess in here um, I need to get rid of that one that one that one I'm keeping that's a Cub Cadet uh, 106 1969 I want to restore that one but I want to get these riding mowers out of here yeah so I guess the first thing I'm going to do is just uh yank both engines and uh, and get them all ready to swap into this one and they both have oil in them all that good stuff I guess I could drain the oil uh, I'm gonna have to drain it out anyway and uh, just disconnect everything and and do the quick swap so let's get started all right I got it on the lift here so it'll be a little easier to get to and let me show you what I'm looking at. And this should be pretty easy. You can see you just got the fuel line to disconnect. Um, there's your carburetor solenoid. There's your throttle linkage. And on this side, just unplug these two right here. And that's about it. This is going to the, the solenoid and the, uh, the ignition coil. And that's it. And then disconnect your, your power cable going to the, to the starter. And that's it. The rest of it is underneath. And 
just use unbolt right here to take this keeper off. Uh, then you can slide your belt out of the way. And under here, just take this bolt off and drop the pulley down. And you can lift, uh, lift the engine out. And this one, I'm probably going to have to swap out the exhaust also. Um, you can see how this one's just going straight down, almost straight down into this cavity. And yeah, on that one, it's it kind of goes forward a little bit. So I'll just swap out the muffler. But you can see the cables are, are the same. You just take this one off. Um, there's your cable for your uh, starter and the only difference I see well we, this can be rerouted whatever it needs I mean those are for your headlights and on that one it was on this side but that's about it I mean it was it's was cabled up different uh, when you're looking at it um, the starter solenoid is in the rear on this one right by the battery uh, but on this one it's up here which I wish they would have done that one the Troy built this way I'd much rather have it up here but other than that I like you know you can see it's just gonna be pretty easy to to take off so I'm gonna quick I'm gonna quit uh, jabbering <laughs> and get started so I can get this sucker done today So this little bar, this, these are the keepers for the for the belt, and there's one on each side. So these have got to go. So here's the pulley. Belt can slip off now now that the keeper's gone. So we just got to take this bolt off, slide the pulley down, and uh, this might have to come off, and we'll drop the uh, the mowing deck down to give us room for the bolt there. easy and this is a is it a 5 8 yes this is a 5 8 and the others were 9 16 and I think the uh, the bolt uh, the motor mount the motor bolt before them there are 9 16 also still have the drive belt up there so I don't know if you could see can you see this up here so there's another keeper and I'm squeezing on it here so this wraps around your drive belt but it should be a bolt I'll unbolt this one Yep, there it is right there. Alright, so that 
bars off so now we can slide the belt off and you can feel the slack in it can you see way back here no um, this is where your tensioner pulley is so you can push that in and it'll give you some slack up here on the belt now I'm hoping that this pulley is not rusted on there that will kind of suck if it is isn't it guess I can spray some PB blaster up in there and let it drip down if I'm not mistaken <laughs> this uh, this pulley should be dropping off of there right now We'll see how that goes while I, while I unbolt the motor. And you can see there's just the four corners. All right, you can see the, the engine is uh, moving back and forth. I just forgot to take this one bolt off. It's uh, one of the braces for the for the muffler. Uh, the cover and everything, I would already had it bolted off. I'll go ahead and get it out of the way. So the biggest thing now is this pulley still still here at the bottom. And I'm going to have to work my way around and see if I can... I think... Yeah, this thing should have already dropped. But I'm going to have to bang it around and see if I can get it off of there. So I think I'm going to give it a few blows with the dead hammer and uh, see if we can get this sucker to drop. I can start to feel uh, the pulley moving and yeah so the crankshaft is not moving but the this is starting to so it's about to drop let me get a pry bar yeah it's close starting to jiggle Make it on the other side but you see what I'm trying to do I'm just trying to get a crowbar under here and apply some pressure while I Jiggle it around. There it goes. There she blows. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, corrosion in there. All right, so that wasn't too hard, was it? Just a couple of snags because of rust and corrosion and stuff. But uh, it's ready to come off. I was about to lift it off, but I was thinking. Well, I still have this other one. I got to yank the engine off first. Um, so, I guess to save lifting, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Yank this one out. Then this one I'll set down somewhere. This one I'll just take directly off and drop it in. Right? So, that's that. So, same thing, let's disconnect everything.
That's it. I'll go ahead and lift it up a little bit so it'll be easier to get to. So here's that same belt keeper here. Uh, and on this one, instead of being bolted here on the side, just like the other frame, uh, you can see the, the end of the bolt here. So the head, you have to go up underneath. And I think it's a half inch. I just worked on one of these for a guy. And, uh, yep. I need to go ahead and slip this belt off. You can see it from over there. Yeah. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. Okay, same as before. I'll just uh, do this real quick and uh, we'll move on. So with this one, you can see the, the drive belt under here. Can you see that? Right up here at the very top. So to give you a slack with that, you just push the brake in. See, there's plenty of slack now to drop that out and that pulley came right out of there all right okay let's get everything out of the way okay so I'm gonna take this one off set it down somewhere grab the other one and plop it down but I had to wear my uh, my back brace for this one. I don't want to wrench my back again. That's the whole reason I'm still doing this. This was last year's project. And uh, I wrenched my back and it's taken me a year to recover. So. some of this crap out of here and get it all prepped so far is uh see this bar up here on the other mower it's actually down here um, what about the other motor what's it doing I think I think the other motor had uh, or the other engine had a smaller plug and there was no interference there let me take a quick look yeah that's exactly what it is so so I guess I'm going to go ahead and drain the oil out of this one, out of both of them. 
and put the smaller plug on this so that there won't be any interference on your uh, on your arm there with the steering. Well, there she goes. Needed oil any oil change anyway, but uh, I wasn't expecting any interference there. All right, so there's the plug. It's going to sit almost perfect. That looks like it, so now there's no interference. <laughs> yeah, the muffler's fitting good. Well, that's it, so. I'm going to start by uh, bolting this down from under here. Then I'm going to slide the belt in position and put the uh, pulley in and bolt it on. And uh, just reverse, I mean, and then just plug everything in, right? This should go on easy. You can see the, the belt here is in place. There's the pulley. You can see it's keyed. Just line it up with the keyway here. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Oh, this is the old engine, so I failed to to uh, to clean up the the shaft here, the crankshaft. And uh, I remember there was a lot of corrosion in there. Yeah, I'd forgotten all about that. There we go. Yeah, that was pretty uh pretty dirty. All right. So if you can see what I'm doing here, I hope. So I have this sandpaper. This is a one inch strip that's usually used on belt sanders. And I usually keep lengths of this because it's, it's handy, they're sturdy. And I can wrap them around a shaft like this. And uh, get them pretty clean. doing the trick. Oh, I think that was it. Let me get all this in place. There's the key. There's the belt. Let's get the throttle linkage back where it should be. Watch out. Mm -hmm. Okay, a quick adjustment. Where's the throttle? Way 
down, throw them up, and then the choke. Alright. Looks about right. I'm going to move it a tiny bit because I want this little piece touching the the choke linkage right there. So that's full throttle choke. Alright, that should be just about perfect. Um, make sure that's tight. Uh, the gas line, well, I saw some pretty nasty gas dripping out of this. Let me see if I can uh, drain some of it out first. And this fuel line is pretty stiff. If you ask me, let's see if I can't. Uh... I think it's it's clogged somewhere. What else? You know, I just noticed this thing does not have a ignition coil. I'll go grab it off the other one. It even has the the screws, the bolts for it in there. I hate when people lose those. See what it looks like. Woo! Pretty nasty. Let's replace it.
guess we can see if there's fuel in the bowl at the same time. Barely anything, huh? No, it's working. Looks like it's just burning off a lot of old crap. Looks like it's coming off the muffler. Well, there she blows it's working uh, just need a little TLC and I think probably the same thing uh, with the mowing deck it engages and it's slow to disengage you know I look under on the mowing deck I just need to hose it off it looks like there's a bunch of dirt and grass clogged up and it's probably keeping everything from you know the springs from uh, letting the uh, uh, tensioner pulley engage and disengage correctly uh, but it is working, so that's good. I guess that is it. I do, I'm just going to hose it down and give it uh, a, a look over again, make sure everything is working fine, and out the door it goes. I'll have it on sale and uh, on to the next one, right? So, so that was pretty good. You see that switching the engine is not that hard. Of course, these were both the Intex. The only difference is this was a 19 and a half horsepower. The one I yanked out of it was a 17 and a half. Uh, so it'll have a little more power to it. But pretty easy to do. So I have this other engine. I'm gonna probably use it for parts. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this chassis here. Yeah, who knows? But at least uh, there's one down, it'll be out. And there's two more I wanna do. I'll just decide later. I'm too tired to even make up my mind right now. <laughs> Uh, didn't take too long in real time that was about four hours and I was really taking my time right I'm glad I finished now because I can feel my back it just when it goes it goes so I'm just gonna put all my tools away and uh, I guess that's it for this video so as always thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and watch my next video <laughs>